So what's going on downstairs, man? It seems like they got a lot still left to do. Okay. I'm just saying, we still got holes. We got outside corner here. Get those corner beads. And same thing here. This needs to be wrapped in corner bead. Corner beads, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, we need that corner bead so we can get on the next step. So is this half inch sheetrock? Yeah, it's, there's a beam right here. Well, I know there's a, a beam right there. Why don't you take this down and go get you some quarter inch sheetrock. Get one sheet of quarter inch sheetrock and then it'll be this much shorter. Bend up there a lot better too. Take this out. I just go replace it with a piece of quarter inch. One sheet should do you. Maybe two? Eight, no, it's eight foot, two foot strips. So you should be able to rip three strips right there. And then that will take this down as well. And so you won't have to throw so much mud up there. That'll save you a quarter. Oh, that'll save you a quarter of an inch. A whole lot less floating. Otherwise, you're, right, you're gonna have to float it out to here. Or you're gonna see that beam. Don't be afraid to go grab a two by four. And screed this sucker off. I've done it before. I mean, mud this whole thing in, eyeball it, and then take you a two by four and screed it down. Like 34th. I mean, we've had to do it before, but this is an easy fix. This is not a uh, you shouldn't have to do all that. Probably stick some screws in the bottom of the sheetrock too. Just it'll make things go a lot easier. 